supposed to be doing your homework. I am doing homework. Rock stars homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock stars don't do homework, Henry. Cool. So uh, I don't have to do homework. Henry, you are not a rock star. And you never will be. So the sooner you get that idea out of your head and get on with your homework, the better. And stop drumming. If I hear you doing that one more time... Right, that's it, Henry. You're grounded. No buts, Henry. You will stay in every night this week and do your homework. What about band practice? The Zero Zombies can't practice without me. Well, they're going to have to practice without you. Well, that's not fair. Homework, Henry. No! It's so easy being me. I'm You've done your homework, haven't you, sweetie pie? Of course, Mum. Look, I knitted an egg cosy for Miss Lovely. Oh, that is lovely, Peter. Is it nearly bedtime? Yes, it is. Henry! Yes, Mum! Homework! Now! Oh, you're just in time to watch Too Cool for School, Fluffy! No spells no, Henry. Not until you've done your homework. Watching TV on the computer isn't the same as watching TV. Technically. Henry, go to your room right now. It's bedtime. But I haven't done my homework yet. Right, that's it. No music, no TV, no computer. For a week. A month. A year. No! It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. We're happy, happy hippos. We're happy all the day. Happy hippos! Not anymore, you're not. Now we're watching weird werewolves. Happy hippos! Weird werewolves! Give it back! It's mine! No, it's mine! Mine! <sighs> Mom! Don't be horrid, Henry. You know it's Peter's turn to watch Happy Hippos. Oh, I don't want to watch Happy Hippos. Oh, I want to watch Weird Werewolves. N O spells no, Henry. You're watching Happy Hippos, and that's final. He 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 he. No! It's so easy being me. I'm Horrid Henry. Phew! That was close. Yeah, but now someone's got to go and get the ball. All right, lads, I'm going in. Phew, I'm in. Henry, what are you doing inside school during break time? I, uh, I'm looking for Mr Soggington. Oh, well then, that's very useful. Huh? When you find him, you can give him a message from me. Please tell him that I can't meet him at lunchtime now. We'll have to meet after school. Henry! And just what do you think you're doing, lad? Um, getting my ball back? Well, that's where you're wrong, lad. I'll be having that. Your ball is now my ball. I've forgotten I 
hidden them in my fort. Cool! It's a 627 fantastic flyer! Oh, not cool. Belongs to Stock Up Steve. <laughs> Jolly good show, Steve. Henry, Aunt Ruby and Cousin Steve have popped in for a visit. Isn't that nice? No. Don't be horrid, Henry. Now play nicely. Oh, yeah, Henry. Play nicely. Oh, all right, then. Let's play with your plane. Give me my plane back or I'll tell my mummy. All right, all right. Keep your hair on. Give me your bag of bogey balls and I'll let you play with my plane. All right. OK, then. Give me one bogey ball and I'll let you look at it. Deal. Give me another bogey ball and I'll let you touch it. Steve, time to go, darling. Got to go, Henry. Thanks for the bogey balls. No! It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Henry, you are going to be late for school. <laughs> Have you seen my tie anywhere? We're going to be late. Oh, where's my other shoe? Mum! Henry took all the sweet tweets! You're going to be late for school, Henry. That means I'm going to be late too. Tough, worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. And where are your trousers? Go and get changed. Now! We're leaving in two minutes. But I want my breakfast. That's my breakfast! Mine! Mine! That's enough! Every morning it's the same. Total chaos. It has to stop. Oh, I agree. But how are we going to stop it? Time management. Time what? Time management. It's a simple idea, Peter. It means we do everything to a strict timetable. Ooh, goody! Just like school. Yes, Peter. You could say it's just like school. Just like school? No! It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. It's for me! It's the postman, and he's got my special delivery DVD. Of gross class zero tops the pops! Hello, great aunt Greta. How nice to see you. What? Where's my DVD? Hello, Henrietta. All ready for our trip to the park? Oh, this isn't happening. Have you forgotten my birthday treat? A girl's afternoon out. Just you and me. Please tell me this isn't happening. I brought my skipping rope. Nothing like a good old skip, eh, Henrietta? No! It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. And then when the water reaches 100 degrees Celsius, you can make a nice cup of tea. Frame at break time. Meet you at the climbing frame at break time. Get lost, snail brain. The climbing frame is ours. And then you can dunk your biscuits in it. No, it's not. It's ours. 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 Margaret, Henry, straight to Miss Oddbod's office after class. No. It's so easy. Doing 
today. Yep, you got it. Shopping. It's so boring. <laughs> Henry, watch where you're going. Could you think of anything more boring than shopping? Raffle ticket, young sir. All money goes to a good cause. Well, yes, why not? How much is one ticket? Oh, I don't even get to buy the kind of food I need, like crisps and chocolate and ice cream. Huh? Want to be a millionaire? A millionaire? You bet! <laughs> then buy a ludicrously lucky lottery ticket and you could be. Cool! Henry! There you are. Look, I've got you a ticket. You got me a ticket? Yes. Now, look after it. You never know. It might be a winning ticket. A winning ticket? Yeah! It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Henry, go on, flick it. Oi, no flicking bogeys. Detention, Henry. <laughs> double detention, Henry, with, with double bells on. No! It's so easy being me. Come on, Henry. And now, moment you've all been waiting for. Henry, Mum says... Out of the way, Worm! They're going to put someone in the Bog of Doom! Mum says she doesn't care who's going into the Bog of anything. Your homework's more important. Oh, no! I can't believe it! Nothing is more important than the Bog of Doom! So move over, smelly nappy baby! Mum says homework now, Henry! Oh, I can't look! <laughs> Said homework now, Henry. Oh no! Oh no! Oh... Ah! It's so easy being me. Come on, Henry. Class. Now, I'm afraid there's been a change of plan. The ice cream factory is closed today. <gasps> so, we're going to the museum instead. The museum? No! It's so easy being me. Come on, Henry. Are the men ready, Captain? My king, then prepare for the attack. Charge! Fire! How am I supposed to have proper battles with this rubbish castle? I need a proper castle. Empty. Grr. I need more money. It's so easy. Peter, we have got to kidnap you and take you to our planet. Ah, space aliens, help! <laughs> it is useless to resist. <laughs> Touch. Henry, 
Is it safe to come out? Yeah, we'll chase them away. Hey! Mum hasn't got a moustache. I'm going to tell. You don't have to. Yes, I do. Mum! Mum! Henry's ruined my picture! Silence, worm. Mum! Mum! If you call Mum again, I'll... I'll paint you blue. Give me back my brush! Henry, just look at Peter's face. And my floor. This time you have gone too far, Henry. You stay in here until I say you can come out. But I'm going to miss Mute and Max. This is all the world's fault. It's not fair. It's so easy being me. I'm And during a wet autumn, the moss will spread across the entire tree trunk. <sighs> ha ha! An evil spy! Wrappers up and must destroy him! What? D -d 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 Get off, Henry! Up a marathon, six hours of wrappers up a heaven. Peter, Henry, <laughs> Mom, Henry buried me. Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. Never mind, Peter. Look. Oh, oh, goody. Can we go for a walk so I can try them out? A walk? No. Yes, a walk's a lovely idea. No. Yes, Henry, we are going for a walk. to find your 20p, Henry. There must be a billion germs in here. Ow! Make that a billion and one. Henry, have you seen Peter? Peter? Um, let me think. I need to talk to you both. Margaret's coming to stay. Moody Margaret! Coming to stay here? Yes, while her parents are on holiday. Oh, goody! Uh -huh. I love having guests. <gasps> Henry! How could you be so horrid? I was just tidying up. Well, 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 no pocket money for a month. And as you've been so horrid to Peter, Margaret can have your room. My room? Ah! It's so easy being me. I'm horrid, <laughs> oh, have I always got to carry everything on my own? Oh, thank you, Henry. Peter, go and get yourself dried off and put that silly toy away. Mum got me a double trench at 3,000! And it's not even my birthday! This is so special. With this, no one is safe. Won't eat carrots, won't eat greens. Won't eat carrots, won't eat beans. Won't eat... Yeah! yeah! Double trencher! Let go, Henry. Oh, it's not for you. Not for me? No, it's a prize for the school fair. No! You can't give away my double trencher as a prize? Well, maybe you'll be lucky and win it. You have the same chance as everybody else. The same chance? That's not fair! Do you hear me? It's not fair! It's so easy being me. I'm Horrid Henry. Henry? Henry! Yes! Na, 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 na. Huh? What did 
did I just say, Henry? Um, uh, school will be closed tomorrow, miss, so everyone can stay at home all day watching telly and eating sweets. No. I said that tomorrow is sports day. What? Provided it doesn't rain, of course. Sports day? No! It's so easy being me. Come on. Pistol, flour, eggs, shaving foam, stink bombs, toilet paper, everything I need to encourage people to be generous. Because after all, tonight is Halloween! <laughs> Henry, you haven't forgotten you're taking Peter trick or treating, have you? to bounce up to people and yell boo to scare them! <laughs> no way! You know, with a little bit of effort, you could look really scary. Um, uh, you won't cut too much off, will you? Of course not! You can open your eyes now! Ah! It looks horrible! Yeah, great, isn't it? See? Told you you'd look scary. How could you be so horrid, Henry? That's it. Go to your room and stay there. There'll be no trick-or-treating for you tonight. No! It's so easy being me. Come on, Henry. Be a gold, Gizmo. Please be gold. Be gold, gold, gold! I want gold! I need gold! No! Out of my way, worm! <laughs> oh, don't be horrid, Henry. It's my turn to get the gizmo from the cereal! <laughs> that is so not fair! It might be gold! We'll just have to get another box right now. Uh, no. Not until you finish these three. But I want to... Oh, why? It's a gold gizmo! What? No! It's so easy being me. Come on, Henry. <laughs> Oh, the babysitter's cancelled. Yes! I hate babysitters. I'm not a baby and I don't want to be sat on. In fact, parents shouldn't be allowed to go out at all. Parents should stay at home when they belong. <gasps> there must be someone else we can try. I think Henry scared them all away. Well, why should I be nice to some ugly, stuck-up, bossy teenager who hogs the TV and pigs out on my biscuits? So, <gasps> I accidentally spilled some juice on Krabby Chris. <gasps> and Mad Martin didn't like skateboarding. <gasps> and Tetchy Tess, that was easy peasy. <gasps> I've done it. I've found a babysitter. Who? <gasps> Rebecca. Rebecca? Not rabid, Rebecca! No! It's so easy being me. Come on, Henry. I'm going to ask him for a million pounds. A parrot, a motorbike, a swimming pool, a trampoline, uh What about you, Peter? I'm still choosing. It's Christmas Eve! You better hurry. Mom! Don't be horrid, Henry. <laughs> Toy Heaven! On the board! Choo -choo! Henry, get down! <laughs> now! Whee! I want one of those, two of these, all of that! Wow! A boom, boom, basher! Such a bad 
better get me one, or else. There's no point pretending you don't like school dinners, Henry. But I don't not like them. I hate them. Well, you've got to eat something. Yuck! Just look at this gunk! Revolting ravioli, mushy macaroni, curdle custard, and... What's that? <laughs> I'm being poisoned! I'm being poisoned! Cowboy now? No, it's not. You can be the cowboy on your birthday. That's five months to go, so giddy up! <gasps> Come on, horsey worm, what's the matter? I think. I think. I think I just lost the tooth. <laughs> Look, Henry! I can leave it under my pillow, and the tooth fairy will bring me some money! Hey, Henry! I've lost my first tooth before you! It's not funny! No! It's so easy being me! I'm Horrid Henry! Ugh! Be nice to your brother, Day! Ha! As if! What kind of nappy baby idea is that? <laughs> There's even a prize for the best brother! It's mine. Hmm. But I'd have to be nice to Peter for a whole day. Well, how hard could it be? Come on, Henry! Ah! Oh, there's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. <gasps> Eureka! That's it! I don't have to be nice to Peter! It won't fit! Yes! that I buy you loads of presents and give you all my pocket money. Uh, Henry, it says here you've got to get your mum to sign the form. She'll never do that. Never say never, Ralph. Mum, can you sign here, please? Mm, what is it, Henry? Oh, it's just a form to say I've, um, been eating carrots this week. What? It's to win a year's free supply of carrots. Nice to your brother week. Now, why would I sign this? Because I have been nice to him. Look, I've got photos to prove it. That's not Peter. That's rude Ralph with a mop on his head. I'm not signing anything. But I need to win that prize. Well, you could try actually being nice to your brother. <gasps> if you do, I'll sign it. But that's not fair! Margaret, I won't. I promise. Hmm. Next time, it'll be slugs! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'll get you, Henry! <laughs> hey? And 
And when you've mixed all the ingredients together, you pour it into these pretty little baking cases. Then Mum puts them in the oven so we don't burn our fingers. That's right, Peter. Oh, aren't sleepovers fun? Yes, they are! <laughs> Oops! We're making fairy cakes, Henry! And we're going to decorate them with fairies! And pink bunnies! I'm having a sleepover! A sleepover? You're having a sleepover? Why? Mum! No, Henry, you're not having a sleepover. And if you think about it for one minute, you'll know why. <laughs> Oh, please, Mum! Just a tiny little one! N-O spells no, Henry. It's not fair! It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Wow! The world's biggest bogey was as big as a tennis ball. Mum, Henry's putting me off my breakfast. Don't be horrid, Henry. I wish I could be in the big book of weird and wacky records. Yeah, for the world's smelliest socks. <laughs> <laughs> You're the smelly nappy baby round here. <laughs> the world's smelliest. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I've got hiccups. Oh, now, what did they recommend on I'm a parent get me out of here? Oh, I know. Something sweet and sugary. Yeah, just put a live frog down his pants. <laughs> That'll get rid of them. <laughs> here we are, Peter. Have a spoonful of honey. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, now I've got hiccups too. Hick! Hick! I must have hick! caught them off Peter! Hmm, I need something sweet too! No, you don't, Henry. You've got super hiccups, so you need... A sweet? No, Henry. Pickled onion juice. The Lord High Excellent Majesty of the Purple Hang Gang strikes again! Mm. Thank you, Henry. This treacle is lovely. What? Aren't you even angry? Angry? Moi? <laughs> no way. Not after you went to all this trouble to give me a lovely treat. Mmm. But you're supposed to be really angry! what your hair looks like after this, Moody Margaret. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Huh? What? Oh, restarting countdown. Three, two, one. Henry! Oh. Henry! Sorry, Mum. That was meant for bogey brain. Oh. And who is bogey brain? <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Margaret. Oh, poor Margaret. You need to stay out of trouble, young man. What? Oh, and you can start by digging a hole for my new rose bush. Me? Dig? No! It's so easy being me. Come on.
It's time you got a Saturday job, Henry. Something to get you off that sofa and keep you fit. <laughs> but, Dad, that farm job didn't work out. And the bell ringing job had its uh, ups and downs. And as for my paper round... Well, I've found you a Saturday job you won't be able to wriggle out of. Poor keeper! something very special he'd like to do instead. And loves a cleaning. So we're going to clean the house together. Not hungry? Oh, merci! <coughs> ah! It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. Roll up! Roll up! Just one pound. And you could be headmistress or headmaster for the day. All names go in the hat. One, please. Good luck, Corinda. Hmm. Are you sure this is a good idea, Miss Oddbod? No, it's just a bit of end of term fun, Boudicca. And it's for charity. Well, are you going to put your name in or not? What do you think the chances are? What, a winning? Well, I'd say for me, not bad. For you, about as likely as old Batlack sending you a Valentine's card. Oh. Hmm. It'd be like being king for the day. Hmm. It's worth a go, Henry. Yeah, but is it worth a pound? Oh, uh, thank you. And uh, good luck, Henry. Soraya, the drum. Oh, just think of all the good I could do if I was head. Hmm. Everyone would have to obey me. <laughs> oh. I could have done with that pound. And the winner is. Oh! Miss Hotbot! <gasps> Henry! It's. Henry! Mr. Butterfly. Henry, get out of bed. Now. But it's Sunday. No school today, remember? So, think of all the other things we can get done today. Like cleaning and washing and ironing and going for a walk. And we'll start with you getting out of 
bed! No! It's so easy being me. I'm and it's Shaw running down the wing. He passes to McAnally. He shoots. He scores! Yeah! Day of my life, and my mum says we can watch the final at my house with Chris the lemonade. Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! It will be the best day ever. Go, Ashton Athletic! Ashton Athletic! Woohoo! Go, Ashton Athletic! Henry, you haven't forgotten Steve's birthday tea party on Saturday, have you? But the cup finals on Saturday. I know. That's why I'm reminding you. We're going to our rubies for tea. Mum! Tea, Henry, not football. No! It's so easy being me. I'm hard, of the vegetable family. Spinach, packed full of vitamins and... Huh? But where are Gordon and Ted? OK, Izzy. You're Henry's baby brother, aren't you? Yes, unfortunately. As I'm only visiting for a few days, I don't suppose you'd mind being my friend? Why, of course. <clears throat> Welcome to our fine school. If there's anything you need, all you have to do is ask. Great. Give me your pudding, then. Of course. It's full of sugar anyway. Just look at him, taking advantage of Peter. Yes, he's only been here five minutes and he thinks he's top dog. <laughs> top dog? I'm top dog. Hey, Bossy Bill? <laughs> Thanks, Peter. These canteen seats are so hard, you know. You're so very right. Come here, you! Ow! No one uses my worm of a brother as a seat! for the tie-break. Good. Then if you're sitting comfortably... No! Then I'll begin. Shh, Henry, I can't hear anything. Oh, might as well forget it, Ralph. What do the letters? I'm never going to know the answer. S-C. I never know anything. A-C-S stand for... Hey! I know this one! So, so do we. I mean I. OK, then. You both know how the tiebreaker works. I count down from three and the first correct answer wins. Three. Well done. 
and then what's the answer? It's the bogus... Um, no, that begins with B. Uh, oh, and... Two. Come on, Henry. Sit. Uh, uh, yes, Miss Battleaxe. 
Perhaps there's someone else who'd like to share the reason for Henry's good mood with us. Oh, yes, miss. They were arguing, miss. Really, Margaret? About which was the best song ever. Ah, I see. Thank you, Margaret. And then... I said, thank you, Margaret. And which song, in your opinion, is the best song ever, Henry? Um, Thrush Hornets? Is the wrong answer, Henry. There are many songs in this world of ours. Some are good, and some not so good. <laughs> 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 you a selection of the songs which I consider to be the best. And one, two, three, four. You've got a minute to tidy your bedroom. Starting now. 
58 seconds, Henry. Oh. So easy being me. I'm Henry. Oh, what am I going to tell Ralph's mum? Oh, excuse me, Mrs Ralph. I'll let your son be captured by the evil guardian. Oh, there you are, Henry. It's nearly tea time. Did you find Ralph? Not yet. I, uh... Oh, Peter, are you hungry? Can I take this to my bedroom? Of course you can, sweetie. Don't eat too much, though. It's nearly tea time. I won't. Uh, 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 oh, no, you don't. It's nearly tea time. Fungus! What? Foam fungus! The evil guardian always leaves a trail of foam fungus wherever he's been! Henry? Milk or juice? Milk. No, juice. Or maybe both. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> oh, he's still not there. was captured by the evil guardian. So it's all true? Oh, yes. I've been tortured terribly, but Barbara's bogey's got me out of trouble. Boys, I don't want to spoil your fun, but I have a question to ask Henry. Yes, Mum? What, may I ask, is this? Oh, fungus, it is all true. So, this is a unique opportunity for anyone who feels they have the power... Power to be a slime ball! Ah, Henry, thank you. For what? <laughs> <laughs> Can anyone tell Henry why he deserves our gratitude? Yes, miss. I'd like to thank Henry for being so horrid that the dinner ladies give me all his chips at lunchtime. <laughs> I'd like to thank Henry for sharing his yummy gummy fizz balls with me when mine were confiscated by Miss Oddbod. Oh, I'd like to thank Henry for hiding out with me when we're supposed to be at games. <laughs> oh. uh, I'd like to, uh, like, thank Henry. <sighs> Well, it seems we all have something to be grateful to you for, Henry. You can put your hand down now, Henry. And then you can go to Miss Oddbod's office. Ideas, Henry. Oh, I forgot all about it. When I got home, Mum said I should never have put my gross goo pops in the washing machine. Red! Now, Henry! Oh. Now, Henry! You can have your tea in the morning! So, I never got round to having any recycling ideas. We could recycle our farts. <laughs> Not funny. Good luck. Yeah, thanks, Ralph. How did you get on? I... Enter? Oh, Peter! We thought we'd help Henry be a really good ambassador of recycling. How thoughtful of you, Peter. Say recycling should begin at home. No! So easy being me, I'm Henry. 
Spread is hanging up on next door's washing line. Um, no. Go away. No, you've got my stuff. And? And I want it all back. Sorry, Henry, not possible. Why isn't it possible? Because it's my stuff now. My dad paid a lot of money for it. A present for my precious little Margaret Millicent Mordita, cos she's such a superstar, he said. Couldn't believe my luck when I found out what he'd really bought. Yeah, well, it was all a mistake. Maybe, but you're not getting it back. Unless... Unless... You agree to play a game of my choice every day for a whole month. And then what? And then you'll get your stuff back. That's it? That's it. <sighs> deal. Sorry, didn't hear you. What did you say? I said deal. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> It's called Tutu Time. I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> of nothing is something. Where do I get my square roots from? Where do they get this stuff? <laughs> well, that's the last homework I'm ever doing. And probably the first time I've actually done any homework. Well, it is if you don't count the time I did my air guitar as my homework. Which I don't. Oh, Henry, you're up already. Yep. 
And you've finished off all Peter's homework. Well, I guess you could say that. <laughs> You know, Henry, I didn't think you'd be able to pull this one off. They <laughs> don't call me horrid for nothing. Yeah, but this was ambitious, enterprising, innovative. Yep. If I knew what you were talking about, Brian, I'm sure I'd agree with you. Good morning, everyone. Now then, homework. Good. Henry. Yes, Miss Butlux? Detention, Henry. No! So easy being me, I'm horrid, Henry. And that's why you'll never be more gross than... Gross Class Zero! That show's the best! That's why you'll never be more gross than... Gross Class Zero! How's your day been so far? Mine's been pretty good. A whole hour of Gross Class Zero without Mum nagging me to do this or that or something else. You've got to admit, that's pretty good. That's funny. I thought I closed my bedroom door. <laughs> oh, no. Don't tell me. Oh, there you are, Henry. What have you done? Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. I've just tidied your room. Now, where do you want Mr Kill? On your bed? But I don't want my room tidied. Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. Your room needed tidying up and that's that. Now, where should we put Mr Kill? He could go on your desk, maybe. <coughs> my desk? Yes, Henry, that's your desk. You've tidied my desk. Look, Mr Kill can sit here. But I don't want Mr Kill to sit there. And I don't want my desk tidied or my room tidied or anything tidied. Well, it's done now. I can't believe how much rubbish you had in here. Wait, you didn't... You tidied my drawers as well! Yes, Henry, I'm good at tidying. But, but... No buts, Henry. You took my lucky thing! Your lucky thing? Yes, my lucky thing! It was in this drawer! I don't remember seeing anything that looked like a lucky thing. Well, it doesn't really look like a lucky thing anymore. It's green. Well, it used to be. And furry. Well, it used to be. And... Well, I'll have a look for it when I empty out the rubbish, but I can't promise anything. No! So easy being me, I'm Horrid Henry. Tea's ready, boys. in love and war. I don't know what kind of game you're playing, but it looks like fun. Like I said, Mum, it's an experiment for school. Where are the chips? Oh, I thought we'd be posh tonight and help ourselves. Three, two, one. My colouring book. Yes. It's on your side. Yes. I don't suppose... Nope. You'll need a visa. Oh. And a letter of recommendation. From who? The President of the United States of America. Quiet time. What are you looking at, worm? Step aside, worm. And 
number gnome four said to number gnome two, let's share and care and be friends forever. No! So easy being me, I'm hard Hey, Fang, fancy a game of slime seesaw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good shot, Fang. To cheat or not to cheat? That is the question. Waiting for you in the car. Oh, those green gizmos went quickly. Yeah, shame you didn't have more. I know. I don't think Brian's speeding up works. Rolly, He's happy. To be happy or not to be happy? That is the question. That's funny. What's funny? Somebody's trending. Let's hope it's gizmos. I've got nearly enough saved up to get the new Gross Class Zero DVD. It's not gizmos. It's something called a golden gazoodle. A golden gazoodle? What's one of them when they're at home? Eek! Voting begin! Yay! With one adjustment, I have decided on the advice of Miss Battleaxe that the oldest of the two candidates should be given a head start. <gasps> that means that Stephen will start with 30% of the vote as he is 30% older than Henry. That's not fair! <laughs> Well, what did she say? She said that she thinks it is fair. That Miss Battleaxe told her that it's the same system they use for their Gideantus brick house piece process. <laughs> yeah, and that works. Not. Looks like she's sitting on your votes, Henry. You reckon? I reckon. Oh, well, I guess all's fair in love and war. Well, I did get elected, fair and square, even though stuck-up Steve had a head start, just because he was older than me. And this is my list of demands to the school council. Ah, Henry, welcome. <laughs> Staying for the meeting? Oh, we've had the meeting already. What? 
You've got one minute to say what you've got to say, Henry, starting from now. No! So easy being me, I'm hard, Henry. Hello? Hello, Henry? Hello? Henry? What's going on? Oh, nothing, Dad. We're just being very quiet so Mum can work. Good. Well, that's what I'm calling about. What? Whether you've been quiet enough to deserve your pizza. Me? Whether I've been quiet enough? Yes! Yes, I have! Hmm. How do I know that? What do you mean, how do you know? I can't ask Mum, can I? Then put Peter on the phone. Really? You really want to talk to Peter? Yes, I'll hold. Yes, Dad. Of course, Dad. Can you believe this? Yes, Dad. Yes, I have. Well? He's on his way back. With the pizzas? Yes, with the pizzas. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Shh! It certainly is quiet in here. Two Golden Gate Garden Centre pizzas for two boys who know that... Silence is golden! <laughs> and one sticky toffee pudding for the boy who managed to keep Henry quiet. You what? Ooh, yay! Thanks, Dad! That's not fair! I was the one who kept everything quiet! The worm had nothing to do with it! Don't be horrid, Henry. Mine, I believe. No! So easy being me, I'm horrid, Henry. Just wanted you to know that I finished all the chores. Very good, Henry. That's all the chores. Yes, very good, Henry. That's all my chores and all your chores, too. Yes, Henry. I heard you the first time. Hang on. I've been doing all the chores while you've been sitting up here reading your comic. Yep. Looks that way, Henry. No! <gasps> nope. I'm not going to lose everything at the 11th hour. I've won those green squares fair and square. I reckon you have, Henry. Let's go and tell Mum, shall we? He's up to something. <laughs> there! All green. You are such a sweetheart. Dad tells me you've had a very good day, Henry. Yep! Looks like Peter's had a very good day, too. But... But I did all the chores, I did my chores and I did his chores. He shouldn't have any green squares. Is that true, Peter? Yes, Mum. I thought I'd give Henry a chance to have a very good day. Oh, that is adorable, Peter. So he shouldn't have any green squares. But I was thinking of you all the time you were doing the chores, Henry. That's even more adorable, Peter. That'll be Ruby. What's Rich Aunt Ruby doing here? Don't be horrid, Henry. She's come to collect these. What? what? She couldn't get tickets for the movie premiere, and you know how much Steve loves that terrible programme. So I thought we could do a bit of thinking of others. No! Oh, no! Hold on, Aroly Mo. I'm coming. Number Nome 3 thought that he would ask Number Nome 5 whether he wanted to go with him. That's nice. And Number Nome 6 thought that she would ask Number Nome 9 whether she wants to go with her. That's nice. No, it's not. What did you say? I said, no, it's not. It's not nice. It's incredibly boring. 
Don't be horrid, Henry. I'm not being horrid. I'm just saying it's not nice. Who cares what the number gnomes think anyway? I care. And it is nice. And then number gnome 24 said... Don't be horrid, Henry. I told you, I'm not being horrid. Who's not being horrid? Me. I'm not being horrid. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Look, I even put my breakfast bowl in the sink. All right, then. You can have a green square. Oh, can I have a green square too? What is that, anyway? It's a good day, bad day chart. I read about it in I'm a Lady. What's it for? It's so Dad hmm. and I can keep track of how you're doing. Each time you do something selfish or horrid, you get a red square. But if you do something nice and think of others, you get a green square. Ooh, that's clever, Mum. Isn't it, Honey Bundle? So that means green is a good day and red is a bad day. Henry said the number gnomes are boring. Did you say that, Henry? Well... I don't know what you're talking about. You're helping everyone else as well. Well, not everyone. How much? What do you mean, Henry? How much for you to tell me how to make sure Fang wins and Fluffy doesn't? Grease my palm with silver. You what? I haven't got any silver. Gold, then. Oh, no. Not my golden gizmo. Yes, your golden gizmo. Suit yourself. <laughs> and now it's time to judge the Pet of Pets Prize. Presented by the ever fabulous Margaret Millicent Mordita Smythe and her dad. Margaret Millicent Mordita Smythe and her dad. Just remember what I told you to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice one, Fang. This one's disqualified. What? Why? That's obvious. It's dead. <laughs> Number three, take a few moments to freshen up. Just going to freshen up, great Aunt Greta. Try putting a ribbon in your hair. Really? Oh, uh, thank you, Fluffy. Number four, be happy to see her. Oh, thank you, Henry. What a day I've had. Number five. Ask her if she's had a good day. Good day, Mum. Speak in a low and pleasant voice. <coughs> good day, Mum. Henry, are you feeling all right? Number six. Settle her down in the comfy chair, arrange her cushions and take off her shoes. Number seven. Listen to what she has to say. Mum! Because whatever she has to say is more important than whatever you have to say. Henry, what's going on? Nothing, Mum. Just, uh, just wondering how your day has gone. Oh, well, it's been a bit up and down. You see, when I got into work, Mr Mossy decided that he wanted to stack all the books from A to Z. 
So then once we'd sorted all the books out backwards as well as frontwards, Mr Mossy decided that as we were looking at the blue ones, we might as well... Number eight. Remember, a good girl always knows her place. <sighs> Wait, did you say a good girl? Yes, I believe I did. How to be a good girl in eight easy steps. How to be a good girl in eight easy steps? Oh, yes. That was one of my most favourite articles when I was a little girl. But I'm not a girl. I'm a boy. Yes, dear. Did you hear what I said? I'm a boy, not a girl. Yes. Lovely curls, Henrietta. And then, would you believe it, Mrs Mossy arrived and said... And is there house hot pot still for tea? Yes, there is! You've done your homework, haven't you, sweetie pie? Of course, Mum. Look, I knitted an egg cosy for Miss Lovely. Oh, that is lovely, Peter. Is it nearly bedtime? Yes, it is. Henry! Yes, Mum! Homework! Now! Oh, you're just in time to watch Too Cool for School, Fluffy! TV Henry. N O spells no Henry. Not until you've done your homework. Watching TV on the computer isn't the same as watching TV. Technically. Right, that's it. No music, no TV, no computer. For a week. A month. A year. No! It's so easy being me. I'm We're happy, happy hippos. We're happy all the day. Not anymore, you're not. Now we're watching Weird Werewolves. Happy Hippos! Weird Werewolves! Give it back! It's mine! No, it's mine! Mine! <sighs> Mom! Don't be horrid, Henry. You know it's Peter's turn to watch Happy Hippos. Well, I don't want to watch Happy Hippos. I want to watch Weird Werewolves. N-O spells no, Henry. You're watching Happy Hippos and that's final. Hee 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 hee. No! It's so easy being me. I'm Horrid Henry. Phew! That was close. Yeah, but now someone's got to go and get the ball. All right, lads, I'm going in. Phew, I'm in. Henry, what are you doing inside school during break time? I, uh, I'm looking for Mr Soggington. Oh, well then, that's very useful. Huh? When you find him, you can give him a message from me. Please tell him that I can't meet him at lunchtime now. We'll have to meet after school. Henry! And just what do you think you're doing, lad? Um, getting my ball back? Well, that's where you're wrong, lad. I'll be having that. Your ball is now my ball. I've forgotten I 
hidden them in my fort. Cool! It's a 627 fantastic flyer! Oh, not cool. Belongs to Stock Up Steve. <laughs> Jolly good show, Steve. Henry, Aunt Ruby and Cousin Steve have popped in for a visit. Isn't that nice? No. Don't be horrid, Henry. Now play nicely. Oh, yeah, Henry. Play nicely. Oh, all right, then. Let's play with your plane. Give me my plane back or I'll tell my mummy. All right, all right. Keep your hair on. Give me your bag of bogey balls and I'll let you play with my plane. All right. OK, then. Give me one bogey ball and I'll let you look at it. Deal. Give me another bogey ball and I'll let you touch it. Steve, time to go, darling. Got to go, Henry. Thanks for the bogey balls. Have you seen my tie anywhere? We're going to be late. Oh, where's my other shoe? Mum! Henry took all the sweet tweets! You're going to be late for school, Henry. That means I'm going to be late too. Tough, worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. And where are your trousers? Go and get changed. Now! We're leaving in two minutes. But I want my breakfast. That's my breakfast! Mine! Mine! That's enough! Every morning it's the same. Total chaos. It has to stop. Oh, I agree. But how are we going to stop it? Time management. Time what? Time management. It's a simple idea, Peter. It means we do everything to a strict timetable. Ooh, goody! Just like school. Yes, Peter. You could say it's just like school. Just like school? And he's got my special delivery DVD of Gross Class Zero Tops the Pops! Hello, Great Aunt Greta. How nice to see you. What? Where's my DVD? Hello, Henrietta. All ready for our trip to the park? Oh, this isn't happening. Have you forgotten my birthday treat? A gal's afternoon out. Just you and me. Please. Tell me this isn't happening! I brought my skipping rope. Nothing like a good old skip, eh, Henrietta? No! It's so easy being me, I'm Horrid Henry! And then when the water reaches 100 degrees Celsius, you can make a nice cup of tea. Frame at break time. Meet you at the climbing frame at break time. Get lost, snail brain. The climbing frame is ours. And then you can dunk your biscuits in it. No, it's not. It's ours. 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 Margaret, Henry, straight to Miss Oddbod's office after class. No. It's so easy being me. Come on. we 
we're doing today. Yep, you got it. Shopping. It's so boring. Henry, watch where you're going. Could you think of anything more boring than shopping? Raffle ticket, young sir. All money goes to a good cause. Well, yes, why not? How much is one ticket? I don't even get to buy the kind of food I need, like crisps and chocolate and ice cream. Huh? Wanna be a millionaire? A millionaire? You bet! <laughs> then buy a ludicrously lucky lottery ticket, and you could be. Cool! Henry! There you are. Look, I've got you a ticket. You got me a ticket? Yes. Now, look after it. You never know. It might be a winning ticket. A winning ticket? Yeah! It's so easy being me. I'm Henry, go on, flick it. Oi, no flicking bogeys. Detention, Henry. Oops. <laughs> double detention, Henry, with, with double bells on. No! It's so easy being me. Come on, Henry. And now, moment you've all been waiting for. Henry, Mum says... Out of the way, Worm! They're going to put someone in the Bog of Doom! Mum says she doesn't care who's going into the Bog of anything. Your homework's more important. Oh, no! I can't believe it! Nothing is more important than the Bog of Doom! So move over, smelly nappy baby! Mum says homework now, Henry! Oh, I can't look! <laughs> I said, homework now, Henry. Oh, no! 